Hi everybody, Cynthia here. Um, I'm going to share with you <clears throat> my um, altered domino ornaments. If you guys remember a little while ago, I had um, covered some dominoes with those old world Santa kind of looking images. They were from Graphic 45. Someone had given them to me in a rack a little while ago. I finally finished them, so I just wanted to come back and share them with you. And um, before I do, I just want to make an announcement for my friend Misha. Hey, Misha. She is at Scraps and Things 1 here on YouTube, and she is currently having a Christmas ornament challenge. She basically wants you to show her the Christmas ornaments you've made so far this year. But for more details, I'm going to post the link below. You guys can head on over and, and check it out. And you know, participate. I think she's going to end her giveaway sometime around Thanksgiving, maybe Thanksgiving Day. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, for more details, just check the link below. Um, so anyway, I showed you guys, oh, this tree you're looking at. <laughs> Sorry, my head's kind of in a fog. I, um, this past week I wanted to do videos to show you guys what I've been up to. Um, but like in the afternoons, I would start with a migraine. I don't know what the heck was going on, but like in the next morning I'd wake up, it was away, and then I'd end up with one again. And just, um, yeah, it was horrible for a couple days. So, and you guys know, if you've suffered from having migraines, it knocks you on your tush, you know? You're just kind of wiped out from it. Um, but my head's still kind of in a fog, but I feel so, so much better. And, um... So yeah, I wanted to try and get some videos done today. Plus the fact the cats are sleeping, the kitty cats. Um, they discovered, I have to tell you this really quick before I show you. They discovered my shower today, actually yesterday, that they can play in between the two curtains, the plastic one and the cloth one. And now I have pinprick um, things from their nails all along my shower curtain. <laughs> so yeah, needless to say, hubby and I will be out shopping for a new shower curtain tomorrow. Maybe tonight we'll go, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a handful. They are a handful. Every time I work at my desk, they want to jump in and, and help me out and play with everything. And, and, um, but right now they're napping. <laughs> so I'm like, yes, this is perfect. I can, I can actually get some, some work done, which I'm excited about. But they're doing really, really well. So I'm really happy about that. But Anyway, this tree I picked up at Michael's, I think like two weeks ago. My hubby actually found it. I'm going to use it on my craft table at the craft shows that I'm participating in December. And on this tree, I'm, I just want to hang my altered um, bottle cap orna ornaments, my altered domino ornaments, and I may make some altered um, cork ornaments for the tree. So I just jam-packed them on here so you could see how pretty they look. You guys have seen this one before. This is the bigger bottle cap. But they look so pretty up against the green. Um, so, And I, I didn't really think about using these for ornaments. But um, somebody had mentioned it to me that they look really pretty on a tree. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're right. So like here's, here's another one with the red. You know, that looks... It looks really pretty on the tree, I think. So here are the finished um, Santa ones that I did. I kept them all in gold. Um, let me see if I can't move this closer so you guys can see. I kept them all with like a gold theme. So they have gold rick rack running through it. They have gold and pearl beads on the bottom. I stuck with like a yellow gold seam binding and um, bling and then for their hangers I just used those Tim Holtz garment pins and then back here the black pieces I co colored them all a little bit with um, this American Crafts metallic gold marker and I think they turned out really pretty here's some more I'll take them off the tree so you guys can see them I love the images. They're from Graphic 45. I don't know the paper collection um, because they were they came from tags that were given to me in Iraq. Um, I think they were given to me by Letty from 
oh, I can't remember now. My head is really foggy. Um, <clears throat> I got them in a swap, I'm pretty sure, from Letty. But here's, here's another one. So, so, so pretty. Um, you guys saw the angel one I did, and I used darker beads on this one, like darker gold beads. But I kind of thought the pearls looked a little bit nicer with the Santas. So, I finished them up, guys. I'm so excited. And um, I also made some ribbon candy ornaments. Um, <clears throat> I was actually walking through Tuesday mornings <clears throat> about a week and a half ago. Pardon me. And um, they had the bo a box of old the old-fashioned ribbon candy. And I didn't even know they still made it. And my husband's like, yeah, they put it out every year. I'm like, oh, where the heck am I? I've never seen it. So it kind of inspired me to make ornaments, ribbon candy ornaments. And I did manage to um, Google ribbon candy ornaments. Didn't really find any. Then I did it in my YouTube search bar. There's three videos that I've seen. And I can't remember whose they were. Um, but I kind of took a little from everything, what everybody did, and kind of did my own thing. So I will be back to show that to you guys and do a little tutorial on how I put mine together in case you would like to try them for yourself. And, um, yeah, so thanks for watching and listening to me chit-chat, and I'll be back soon. Take care.